Who's up for round two, everybody? I am. Somewhere in the I told you guys last time Marty was joining me for the second path, and here so, we are. Agent yep, I even had very, very specific requirements for what path I wanted to do. <laughs> yep, I'm like, Marty, which of the two paths do you want? She's Actually, like, which two paths are there? I'm like, there's the flytrap one and then the second one. She's like, oh, definitely the second one. Well, of course it's smelly. If you got it out of a trash can, you'll need a hobby. No, same volume as for other oh, let's plays, right. and there's no way to Yelling. increase it on more virtual bots. That's okay, that's okay. Mm -hmm. I, I know the story. Of course. Right. Our so we're, we're going to talk over the other, the old cutscenes that we've seen before, oh, yeah. okay. but the new ones I'd like to try to keep quiet. So no, I've got a better okay, idea. I'll do my best. That way I'm not I'd just like talking over this I better get this trash bag to spy corn and yeah. <laughs> So, the first part of this game, the, you, what both paths is exactly the same. Although we could pick a different route when we're going down the hill All you have the to do is add That's true. We don't, we're not going past and the yet. And tell, why okay. would I need a pair of skis? Yeah, the first I time you to took get the route, information, I not recreation. Oh, I literally just took the automatic route, and basically. They need them to get away then I found the automatic. Good luck if I talk to you. Yes, indeed. I always thought it was so cool that she had, like, a propeller in her hat. <laughs> it's like Matilda Rabbit. Oh, yeah! <laughs> Oh, also, for people who don't know, we're gonna record this all in one city, and then I'll split it up later. Yeah. So, it, there'll be, like, on the ceremony, it's cuts between episodes, probably. No, it's Spy funny. Fox 2, some assembly required. So, Marty has this said this is her favorite. is my favorite Spy Fox game. Yeah. Which is kind of astonishing to me, because this is probably my least favorite Spy Fox game. Why? Why? I the like first the, one the, first I really like. the first one's the amazing. The one first one's amazing. The third one I also one... really like, but not as much as this one. The third one has more sophisticated humor, I think. Yeah. What? This one just... I love bad puns, but this humor is like 100% driven by bad puns. Oh yeah. Also, that pig just flew off a cliff. Some He's of a it is too the eager. gameplay. To get out of here. I really like Although the gameplay this would be for a nice it, getaway, because... You also like to get uh, this the bad fun game. I love game. things from space. <laughs> I'm kind of... I One time, I think I played it for like two hours straight. Oh wow. It was wow. a bit embarrassing. Now that I can look at it objectively, I feel like... I like Fiends from Space a bit more than Happy Fun Sub. Oh my gosh. It's more fun for you, me to play. Wow. I'm so happy. Because Artie is like a Happy Fun Sub. Water works your magic. A little and, bit. And Wait of, a second. Most of us are not Hang on. I just realized we have to load the correct path because I made sure we have the correct path set earlier. Oh, okay. Path two? <laughs> Spy Fox is like, oh, that's strange. I could have sworn that, that I, I dropped the capsule yep. in the water, but I guess not. Oh, that's good that Please you saved don't that. fail me now. Yeah. Skis, I mean. And I actually use the debug menu to choose the route instead of having to try a hundred times in the calculator not showing yeah, up yeah, in the yeah. wild west. Okay, so we're going to the forest? <laughs> sure. Okay. I wonder which way I should go. Down there. Whoa! I forgot about how straight down the drop I wonder is. which way I should go. Go into the net. <laughs> or not. <laughs> oh, I forgot you can go back up to the top. So do you want to go to the net or do you want to go to the net? I want to go to the net. That right. sounds <laughs> funny. <laughs> the rabbit's like, I just cleaned up after you. Whipper With my Olympic I actually don't think I've done this. Real That's slick great. spy fox. That was great. That's awesome. I don't know what happens if you go the other way. I'm pretty sure you just go down. I'll do a bonus episode showing off all of those. Oh boy. <laughs> not that's not like the only thing I'm gonna do oh, in the okay. bonus episode though. I always felt bad for the pig that fell off <laughs> as a kid. Yeah. <laughs> Did you miss me, Chief? No. So, so you, you analyzed the trash bag. He, he, he didn't what miss you at all. all. <laughs> the chief is just beating him up. <laughs> you okay? <laughs> no worries. Spybots, are you okay? <laughs> I'm not oh, even going to answer that. Curious, what's your favorite mobile command center setup? Game oh, one, game two, or game three? I like them all. Okay. The for third me, one is pretty awesome. That's my favorite. Is the third game. We'll, we'll get to that later. That. Anyhow, so for this playthrough, we, we get all. The knife so we need the knife, the fork, and the spoon, Marty. The <laughs> that is not a knife. <laughs> Wow, yep, you're right. Mm. And then. Which game has your favorite spy gadgets? It might be this one. 
Oh, I'd say this is my least favorite. Or maybe the third one? The third, third one game has, has some really good ones. We're getting the stealth vac as well. We don't need the roller states, we don't need the camera. We're getting the termite grenade. And the alarm deactivated. Oh, we need the alarm deactivator? Yep. Oh! I didn't realize you, we needed that. So you need the fork and the spoon for both playthroughs, and then on the fly trap path you need the free gadgets you don't need for this, and then for this path you need the free gadgets you don't need for the fly trap path. Oh, okay. Anyhow, hey, let me in, buddy. Mmm. Excuse me, sir. What seems to be the problem? Well, I hate to be the bearer of bad tidings, but unfortunately, I cannot allow you to enter through the service entrance. I'm sorry, but I can only let dishwashers with proper ID in today. See? It has the job title of dishwasher and a matching photo. <laughs> and a matching photo I of a pig. I seem to have lost my <laughs> ID. Can Sweet you we, only, dishwasher? we only hire dishwashers who are pigs. I'm pretty so, sure I've only I do. done dishwasher. Oh, so I believe the three possible options are dishwasher, cashier, and waitress. ID. <laughs> yes, Spy Fox can be employed as a waitress. This is very progressive for the time. <laughs> Thank goodness there's a photo booth. Pajama bed! Also, what uh, photo booth has three photos? You always have to pay- The one outside the world's You always fair. have to pay, like, five dollars for, like, two Dish photos. Alright, what background should we do? Um, Arena. what did you do last time? I did France. <laughs> Why? Well, uh, I did, like, all of them. Um, we should do- France. Let's keep going. I think- A dentist. Dentist. <laughs> who has dishes at the dentist? <laughs> <laughs> you know, yeah, they clean. You know, they know? order Jimmy okay. John's and get it to catered. That, do you remember that book that they that have where they're like, really "This is what your teeth look like when you don't floss," and it's like this person that leaves the plate out of food. No. You don't remember that book? It was no. always in the lobby when you're waiting like forever to go in. What, what, what did we name our? Oh, we haven't named ourselves yet. No, we haven't. You were Chuck last time. I did this Chuck is... Carlton and like. Uh... You did three names. Because two of them failed. My the one I ended up with at the end was Carlton. Okay. There. Now I can make it. Helicopter ID pilot call. <laughs> washing dishes at the <laughs> dentist. dentist. <laughs> okay. So we need a waitress. Band leader. Well, no, we don't need a waitress. We need Prof professional bowler, Ast astronaut, dishwasher. dishwasher. Okay, what names do we got? Now, we got now Chuck. Chuck. Oh, Reginald. I did Reginald. Reginald as well. Oh my. Maurice. Maurice. Oh, that's a good name. <laughs> it's Bell's father. Yeah, that's a great name. Let's do that. <laughs> Maurice the dishwasher. Professor Quack In Machine the works. I He's a little bit confused. My identification <laughs> card is complete. <laughs> I, I am on the handy. Maybe, yeah, maybe they I'm actually hired handy. him to like wash the dental tools, but he also just washes dishes there. <laughs> His photo that was him in the dentist's office washing a dish like a plate. Maybe, what is up with that? Maybe he like works in the the dentist cafeteria that only serves like vegetables. <laughs> well, what's what are foods that dentists are always like? Eat this for your teeth. It's always floss. good. Well, not you told me eat floss, but you know how they're like, oh, avoid sugary foods and like eat. I don't think clean. the dentists are cool with you eating anything because anything you eat makes your teeth dirty. I agree. Ooh. It would be even funnier if they. If it, he was like washing. Here you are, or... sir. One dishwasher ID card. Yeah. Oh my! I'm so happy that you were able to find it. Let, <laughs> well, me, let guess. me guess. It, it was, was in, in your, your other pants, pants wasn't it? <laughs> Why? Yes, it was. You must be psychic. If you'll excuse me, I'm late for work and they need me in the restaurant. Oh, I understand. I won't keep you any longer. I I'll wish I could get an ID file that for you, Marie. So I could keep up the work. good work. <laughs> I've been waiting for like two day. months to get my and ID. If I don't so see I you tomorrow. tomorrow. Oh, wow. And that was like the first thing I had to do when I got my job. They're like, all right, go to this building. Oh, I, I did. Security, I went, security will give you your badge, and yeah. you can't even get into the building without it. I went in and like got my picture taken and got all the information, and then they lost my information. Oh. And then, like, all these other things. So, as you can see, folks, uh... Everything this, looks, this looks the different. Same, but there's that. There's that, and also you'll remember that the spy heat was not in the vending machine this time. So those are the two main ways you can um, tell the difference between the pads. That, that's a strange-looking device. I wonder why LaRoche has it. A secret agent must always be keenly aware of I love how no one else is in his that restaurant. That device is a case in point. It's still early. I'll make a mental note of it. This is kind of a fancy little machine. Uh, we'll, we'll do more of that later. I also just realized, later. in the other playthrough, you really don't need to go back through and get out of the dog's mouth again. Oh, I did it several times. You did? Okay. Because you need to make the food 
like the pickle pot pie. In right. Order to... You need to do it a couple times, okay. but this one you really need to do it a lot. I've Only twice. Well, unless if you suck like me. Ah. The so what's your opinion on the roach? I should have known. Okay. Taken up with the he reminds of me of like. So Spyco has the Emperor's the New Spyco Groove villain of Humongous Entertainment. <laughs> That's kind of the best way I could describe him. I think he's really funny. Do you like him more than William the King? Oh, yeah. Way more than William the King. Okay. He's probably my favorite. Also, one thing I don't think I pointed out, um, I always thought those green things on his shoulders were just like a weird decoration. Those are shoulder pads. Yeah. <laughs> That's just like the shoulder pads are so huge. I think I also really liked him because as a kid I was super short. So I was like, oh, short people rule the world. Okay. <laughs> Of course, you've disguised the evil dog bot as the centerpiece for the World's Fair. Also, the World's Fair kind of sucks. With a revolving oh, I, I've never been. Where is the World's Fair, Fair anyway? No. I don't, I think it changes, kind of like Observe. the Olympics. Like the Olympics the pop this year, the World's Fair is in Beijing. Uh, yeah, next year, it. it's in Germany. Like this year, the World's Fair is in the Vatican. Dallas. That would be pretty cool. It would be yeah, huge. <laughs> yeah. There'd be lots of queso and footballs, and footballs dipped in queso. Okay. And guns. It, it's, it's probably a good thing we aren't friends with anyone from Texas because they'd just be like, oh. <laughs> I love Texas. Texas is great. <laughs> also, keep an eye out for good thumbnail opportunities. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. That's a really good one. All the world's leaders will sit up and beg for mercy. It is you could basically it take a still image of any LaRoche expression no and it would be a good YouTube thumbnail. It would thumbnail. be. Uh -huh. Yes, I have removed the off switch and hidden it somewhere in the world's fair. So cleverly. It's way easier to find oh, in the first place. I just realized, do we get to go to the ice rink at all what you think? Place? Yeah! <laughs> okay, good. Because I need to go back there. <laughs> it's your favorite line for that. You will still use the activation code to turn the switch off. I was like, wait, I just realized that I picked the path that you, like, don't code. really have to you go in there. Hope to get past the diabolically uh, I mean, you go in there about the same amount. The, the mouth looks so weird, it's like... <laughs> <laughs> like, you don't... Oh, yeah. You don't do, <laughs> you don't do a breathalyzer <laughs> like that, you're like... <laughs> not like... <laughs> Apparently, you're not even supposed to, like, blow into the breathalyzer. You're just supposed oh. to breathe normally. Oh. I guess that would make sense. We've never needed the breathalyzer, because we're responsible. Yeah, we don't drive like we're drunk. <laughs> like we're drunk. No, you know how like drunk drivers can yeah. swerve and out yeah. of What is that like red thing hanging from the ceiling? This? Yeah. That's the um Tonsils? No, that's the like Oh it's the it's that thing the ah The Uvula? The, 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 the Uvula? Uvula, I think. Okay. Correct me if I'm wrong. I like I well, thought it actually functioned, didn't follow the like, assembly oh, wait, instructions it's a close mouth. enough. They yeah, it's the really dog bot's mouth. Gears missing out Eat of this your heart out, Clifford. You're not the biggest dog anymore. I oh, bet no. this loose gear is supposed to. This gear is too big to go there. Oh okay. yeah, it's that one. It's like that. Eh. This mm. gear must go somewhere. That was a really here. easy one. That did the trick. Sometimes you're doing that for a little well, while. Well, I guess it's yeah. I like how they have the, the gold tooth. tooth set like, for, yeah. like if he broke his tooth. <laughs> That's funny. Laura tried to that just for decoration, by the way. Yeah, LaRoche does a lot. The like, Roach he, has he does style. everything Talk right. About escaping he by the no, he doesn't do everything team. right. Now well, to but I'm saying, LaRoche like, if he's gonna, like, throw a party, he's gonna go domination. all out. That's true. He's gonna be like, alright, everybody come to my place, we're gonna have, like, I better answer uh, it. maybe not. Oh, you boot. stand by. <laughs> Spy Fox, Agent Walter Wireless oh, yeah. intercepted a microfish message from Dottie Dash. Nobody cares. Whatever, <laughs> I've already heard this before. <laughs> <laughs> Spy Fox is really important. <laughs> I'm playing things from space, Monkey Penny. <laughs> yup, exactly. Get out of here. Mr. Bunny. Give me those sunglasses. Yeah, go. So as you can see, the path looks pretty similar. And now we're going to go into Plant World. This you don't ever have to go into in this For path. For this path. For this yeah, path. Nobody, nobody cares. I am Madam Excuse Ladybug. Excuse me. The name is Fox. Spy Fox. A pleasure, Mr. Fox. I am Madam Ladybug, the owner of Plant World. It's nice to meet you, Madam Ladybug. Cool. About roses, what is your opinion of climbers and ramblers? I just They're realized this whole world beautiful, and at times seem to defy gravity. And what think you of Ragosa roses? I had a crush on a girl named after that very flower. Rose? No, Ragosa. What? <laughs> okay, I was just gonna say this world really looks like, um, Laputa. When they're inside, and like, there's the walls 
Do you remember when they go inside? I haven't the castle? seen that movie. That's right, you have it! Okay, well, it looks gorgeous. It's Ghibli, and you need of course to, it's gonna look gorgeous. We need to watch that movie. We have like a list of movies we need to watch this summer, basically. <laughs> Better hurry up, the summer's a third of the way over. Yeah, I know. So, what's well, the we best could watch part one of them tonight if we're. They if don't we're ask questions. Oh. Nobody, nobody cares. Goodbye, Madam I Lincoln. literally said at the beginning of Let's Play, please don't talk over any of the conversations okay, we have. I didn't think that yet. was new, because you just talked to Ladybug in the last one. Yeah, but that was All where right. she's just like, get rid of the stupid fly trap. Sure. I need a rose. <laughs> yeah, that's true. Well, so, goodbye, look at Spy Ladybug. Fox's walk. Mm, mm, yeah, he's, he's strutting. Also, Ooh. no dinosaur exhibit anymore. Now it's there's a the science. science exhibit. Forget the cloning booth. No, the science exhibit. Okay. I like the way it's set up with the water around it. <laughs> it's science, the <laughs> movie. <laughs> it has science in it. <laughs> That's what I would watch in school. I'd just be like, it's science, the movie. Sounds intriguing. <laughs> that could literally be anything. No, dude, dude let's watch the movie. All right, all right. So down. This better not be long. A new scientific breakthrough. The Great Restructolux Destructolux. Handy travel appliance of the future. The new revolutionary travel device. Simply take a solid object, place it in the destructo lock. Well, that's okay. Punch in the two letter code BP. Then punch in the three digit code. Watch the great Destructolux change solids into liquid molecules which can easily be transported in a small container. Take the small container to the great Restructolux, punch in the exact same three-digit two-letter code as you did on the Destructolux, BP. Then watch the liquid molecules turn back into a solid. The amazing great Restructolux Destructolux. A lot that of was problems. just like the films they showed us in spy school. That small container looked like a vacuum of the future. Okay, number one, they're like, this is gonna change the future. We don't have anything like this. Number two, what if you like spill some of your liquidized <laughs> off switch and then when you try to rebuild it, it's like missing the button <laughs> or it's missing <laughs> like half of it? I wonder where the off switch is. I wonder is, where guys. it is. Yeah, there was also that. <laughs> Actually, LaRoche is pretty this, smart, though, because yeah. he keeps the off switch right next to him. True. So. I wanted the this path because this was the path that's a kid that, like, I messed up so many times with the Restructolux Destructolux. Yeah, and how inconvenient. It didn't tell us the free digit code. Oh, but that's fine. Oh, I forgot about this kid. Yeah, this kid. We saw him in the credits uh, for the first path. Okay. Hello, little boy. My name is Fox. Spy Fox. And what is your... My name is Elmo. And the Cape Cod's biggest fan, though I'm small and stature. And you're all about going Willie Blowfish in Tupelo, Mississippi. Young Willie had dreams of hearing the big time like his idol, Marvelous Marvin Marlin, and stupendous Stu Sturgeon. His natural daredevil ability caught the attention of the magician, Amazing Melvin Mackerel. Breathe now! <sighs> the Amazing Melvin takes Willie Blowfish on the road with him. The amazing Melvin imparts on Willie Blowfish all the ancient Cape Cod's plan from an indigenous people. Willie quickly masters the cape and changes his name to the Cape Cod. I have to stop now. I'm starting to shake just thinking about the Cape Cod. Okay then, kid. I can use this talk balloon to gather information about Elmo, the Cape Cod fan. <sighs> Isn't it ironic his name is Elmo and he has an annoying voice? Just like Elmo from just Sesame like Street. Elmo. Can we still yep. get food from the future? Because I could really go for um, a, hamburger. a donut on a stick. Going through. <laughs> that's so stupid. Or is Donuts that an, are or is already that an onion ring. That's don't. That looks like. Wait. What is that? It looks like that's a, a donut. I think donut. it's a donut. What can you tell me about Elmo? He's so excited about seeing the Cape Cod. I give him more than one sample because he's so cute. Lucky dog. Also, what's the thing in front of her? Is that like this? No, the thing to the right of it. The thing right in front of her to the right of the pineapple. What is that thing? It's like a bag of... You don't need a stick through a oh, bag of did, beef they, jerky. They have a popsicle on a stick on a stick. <laughs> they have ice Two cream cone on a stick. for the price of one. 
These are really stupid. The only, the only one, that, one the only one that's actually kind of useful is like the wiener on a stick. Yeah, that's kind of nice. And then like whenever you have, okay, you know how they'll put like the stick through the burger, and you're like, <laughs> well, this is useless because now it's like, to my hold the sandwich together. But then you're then you bite into it, and then the sandwich falls apart anyway. So like, it's or for, then you start it's so biting when the they stick. transport it, it I still know, looks. But nice. it, it just oh. whatever. And you can also have fights with them also. Ooh, from Yucko. Why? Lard on a stick. Sorry, just had to. No, see I, that agree. Again. <laughs> I agree. I agree. I thought you. Were... <laughs> I was really sad when I watched the first video. What we used to do back in the days, we would crank Here's the volume where my on our computer, I... so it would be like. <laughs> <laughs> and you then. You like oh. that Cape Cod a lot, don't you, kid? I do anything for the Cape Cod. Would you eat your broccoli if he asked you? He probably wouldn't ask me to do that. <laughs> <laughs> Agreed, kid. Agreed. You like broccoli, and broccoli sucks. Okay, broccoli is good in some forms. But I cannot it think of cannot, a single form of broccoli where I'm like... Raw. It cannot be raw, it cannot be covered in cheese. But I love it when it's steamed, and I also love it when it's like grilled. Grilled broccoli. But I would take grilled asparagus any day. Sometimes asparagus the broccoli can be florets up. are terrible. It depends. If it's steamed just right, then it's not bad. I don't want not bad. I want good. And broccoli can never be good. Oh, asparagus I've had. What can you with. tell me about Napoleon LaRoche? Is he related to the Cape Cod? In no way whatsoever. And I don't know anything about him. <laughs> okay. Give me that. Although that looks scrumptious, I think I'll pass right now. Aww, but I wanted the pineapple! How are you supposed to eat pineapple on a stick? You have to cut the skin off, unless it's like... <laughs> <laughs> yeah. That's more what I think they're going for. It's like the manliest tester. Mm -hmm. Can you eat a pineapple? Oh, come on! He, he's depressed with... St How does a fish even get stubble? Oh! <laughs> yeah, that's a problem. He's not a mammal. That's, that seems a little bizarre. Although, how is he out of water? I don't know, kid. <laughs> just leave me alone. I'm blue. I don't feel like the Cape Cod anymore. If just one person who really cared came to see my act, I'd do it one more time. Then I'd hang up my cape for good. If um. you believe in the cod, clap your hands. No, son. I just need one person who really cares. I'd do my cape trick one more time, then hang it up for good. That's one sad cod. Okay, but look at all those people! <laughs> look at all those people in the audience! The they're all there to see the Cape Cod! They're, they're not very enthusiastic though, they're just like, oh yeah, Cape Cod, well, we whatever. Can't, we can't this see. is the only shady part in the entire world. So That's that true, it might in. be that. But like, the, there's people it's, that are actually there for the Cape Cod. It's, it's like... It's like when you go to Disney World, yeah. and it's super, super hot, and you need to go into the air conditioning, and that's why you go on the Hall of Presidents or the Country Bear Jamboree. You don't There's go on either of them. There is you literally no reason to ever go on those attractions unless it's so hot and you just need some place to sit. At that point, I'd rather just go into, like, a gift shop and then find a bench. But, <laughs> they're all taken. They are all taken. I'd rather just go into a gift shop. May I borrow your cake? No, son. I can't part with that cape until I find someone who cares. Then, after I've done my act, I'll hang it up and you can borrow it all you want. I care about the cape. That doesn't count. <laughs> oh my gosh. I care about getting free yeah. stuff. <laughs> yeah, Jesus so Christ. what? Oh wait, no, 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 let's ask him about himself first. How'd you feel? I hate myself. <laughs> <laughs> um. There we go. Tell me about yourself, Cod. In the old days, folks cared about the cod. Even if I had a dry spell and couldn't do the act, folks still came anyway just to watch me eat cornflakes in my pajamas. <laughs> um. For the days. <laughs> what? <laughs> okay. I just imagine Cod's like, I don't feel like doing a show today. <laughs> he like just gets up out of bed. There are all these people in his house just like, you're going to do oh something? I'm mean, just going to eat Frosted Flakes. <laughs> oh, great. We love those. Oh, my God. <laughs> this is very weird. For me, I'm just like, I like Cape Cod. I like the chips. They're pretty good. Cape Cod kettle chips are fantastic. They're pretty good. They're not as good as those ones that we used mm. to get from like oh, Costco. Costco used to have crinkle cut kettle chips. And they were like as big as someone's torso. 
Okay, you're exaggerating. Oh, the, the bag. Ba the bag. <laughs> not, not each individual chip. No, yes, the, the bag, is, the bag. Is, is the size of a normal person's torso. It's insane. The <laughs> chips the are not chips. that big. The, the chips, chips are sizable, The though. chips are, like, the size of a seashell. Like, you know those, like... That's That tells us nothing. No, you seashells know those, can have a um, lot of You know of those she the shell pattern seashells? And, like, they're not the smallest version of them, but, like, slightly bigger than that. They're about the size of an iPod Nano. That's not the iPod Nano on my desk. I was like, what? Or, um, or maybe the. I or don't it's know. like the size of a really, really big. <laughs> if oh, I buy another it's fan. It's the size of like a Mario button on his overalls. Big one, I guess. Matt. <laughs> His buttons are pretty big. If I just had one more fan who cared, then I would do the act. Hang up my cape, then go to make it potato chips. For the rest of my <laughs> well, we gotta make that happen. If it alone. I just met a kid who's your number one fan. He knows all about you and your cape act. Really? I do believe that he cares. No, I'm washed up. It'd break his heart. I bet if I was able to introduce <laughs> Elmo to the caped cod, his little heart would soar. I can gather information about the caped cod with this talk balloon. <laughs> the old one doesn't work. <laughs> He's like, no, I don't want the kid to see me with stubble. It'd break his heart. <laughs> you can just shave. <laughs> yeah. I don't well, have my lucky race. But if he feels flabby.